Go potty boy. Ooh. No. Oh, Miss Alone, I went and took Jada to work. And um, he just texted me. He said, um, do you feel like cooking breakfast? Sure, honey, I'll cook breakfast. I will. Uh, I ain't got no bacon. Yeah, so I told him when he come home, he said that. I asked him if he'll get the bacon, and he said he ain't dressed to get out of the car. So I told him, I said, when he get back, I'll just, and then my ID card is in the car. So it's, it's, it's two cars out here, y'all. But I can't get in commentary without my ID card. So it's in, the, it's in my car. So Jada just went to work. I go at two, just solidify her a ride home with Jazz going to get her and bringing her back. And then, um, <sighs> she can get up and go to work with me in the morning because I think she work, I think she the same time tomorrow. She's just going to be there early. You know what I'm saying? Job, it costs. Driving up down the road. Anywho, I'm going to cook breakfast and I'm going to clean this room up. Wait, come on. Come on. Cause I didn't do none of this last night, y'all. I did not. I was tired. Come on. The, um, the, the iron board I put up. I was gonna go like, do my bed and stuff, but I'm gonna cook breakfast. I thought I cooked breakfast. Sorry, y'all. Trying to get this hanger off. Once I cook breakfast, I'm gonna be in a mode to get dressed. So, so I'm gonna clear all this stuff up, put these things away, and um, I'll get ready to let the next vlog go live. That's what I'm about to do too. Okay. And I hope y'all enjoying Vlogtober so far. So far, I am too. I am. I kind of feel like I ain't missing out on talking to my girlfriends, you know, um, for a little while. And then, you know, how you got to play catch up and be on the phone, like, feel like forever. Yeah. So, let me get this stuff tidied up. Literally. Put away. And, uh, yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> something, something for the midst of this moment. Bacon and eggs and grits and toast. All right, y'all. It's time to go. It's a 1.15. Y'all, I put these jeans on this morning. Or just now. Y'all, I just bought these a couple of days ago. And I feel like I bought them too big. So, I have on this blouse that has like these birds on it and it's like a fake well not fake but it's like an ascot top that's like not the built-in tie but it has a built-in tie it has a tie let me show you I'm if I get in the car so little bow navy blue it has burgundy in it and I have on some combat boots I on two pair of socks because my combat boots be feeling like they be like because I don't zip I don't zip it all the way up on the side Mr. Long just asked me he said why your boot ain't zipped all the way up on the side so you can't be looking done you know what I'm saying so y'all Yeah, daily vlogging is challenging, to say the least, it is. Uh, just because you wanna make sure you have enough footage. So, um, I've cooked breakfast, y'all. Jazz went hungry, so I ain't have to go cook a whole, whole meal, you know, like, I have a cook for a family. I just cooked enough for me and him. And we had bacon grits and eggs. And we sat at the table together. Orange juice, 
Calm said I had my Dunkin' Donuts coffee. He was like, oh, you you using the Craig? I said, yeah. I said, when Jazz, you know, move out, because y'all know we bought her that for Christmas, I said, I'm gonna have to get my own. I'm gonna get me one a goddamn timer on it, okay? Shit. Yo, get me one with a timer. Anywho, y'all, I have slept so good, so good. And I wanted to tell y'all, Oh no, let me see, let me see how I start this conversation. So, what happened was, yesterday, I didn't come straight home. Y'all noticed that, right? I went back, went back into the mall, was hype, crump, the whole nine. Um, I just wanted to have some me time, you know what I'm saying? And I wanted to go to the movies. The movie I wanted to see wasn't playing where I was. So I was like, okay, I'll catch that probably no, not tomorrow night, because I had to be up early Monday morning. But, just to get on when I leave tomorrow. Me and Mr. Long might go out and catch a movie tomorrow. So, I come home, you know, um, I could tell, you know, I didn't feel like going anywhere else. And, you know, let me just say it, y'all. If you wasn't personally, like, invited somewhere, would you just go? Like, would you just show up with people? Like, personally, I don't like when people do that shit to me. Like, I invited you. I ain't invite the two, three people that you bought with you. I, I ain't invite them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all, it's time for me to get a new memory card because uh, this memory card, it's like, child, you ain't tell us you was doing Vlogtober and your ass gonna be vlogging every day and it's some stuff right here y'all just don't want to delete off yet so I think I need to pick me up another SD card cause yeah anywho like I was saying have you ever experienced that like people want you to go somewhere with them but you weren't personally invited so you don't want to feel like you know you wasn't invited to the party, so, you know, why, you know, just come crash the party? No. So, yesterday, some Jazz wanted me to go somewhere with her, but I, per se, wasn't invited. Not that I think it was intentional, it's just that I just feel like... Okay, here it go. Have y'all ever had this happen to y'all? Cause like, I don't wanna be calling people names and shit. So that's why I'm trying not to say much. Cause I ain't trying to call nobody out. Anywho though, uh, you ever have like a friend that you and your friend, y'all cool. And you know, like stuff that your friend be going through. Like, it doesn't matter. Like if it's with her man, if it's with uh, sister, brother, parent, you know what I'm saying? And you be knowing what be going on because your friend is sharing, you know, this information with you and, you know, seeking some advice. So, when the time comes for you to like the person they've been talking to you about, you come and make personal contact with them you be kind of like feeling a certain way or you be feeling like mm, I don't know if I'm vibing him I don't know if I'm in, I'm vibing her because of what you done heard because let's face it y'all people do form opinions about you or about other people based off of what they've heard from others and so I was just like Do y'all form opinions about people like y'all have never met, per se? When like it comes to like a friend, y'all talking about them, discussing other people, and like it's like you done formed this like person, like you done developed this image of them. Cause I know people done like met people before, and like when you meet them, you be like, okay, they don't look nothing like you said they was gonna look. Okay, like. They be talking about how fine and how suave and mm-mm. And you be like, 
no such thing. Like, well, what do you see? Am I blind? Twins. <laughs> my eye like that and turn to the side. Maybe I'll see what you see, but as of right now, I ain't seeing it, okay? Y'all ever have that happen? Like, so, so, so to say this, y'all. I don't wanna go, cause I already have like a, a opinion in my head. And I wasn't invited, which I'm not tripping about, cause when I came home, I, I, I got to work. Y'all know, I have lots of things that I need to be doing to stay on task. And so I just was like, am I the only one? Am I the only one? Hmm, interesting, right? And then, let me ask y'all this. Have y'all like ever done something for somebody, okay? And they did it for you, they did or they said they did it out the kindness of their heart. Or they just wanted to, you know, they just wanted to do this. And later on down the line, you know, something come up. Well, remember when? I talked about this earlier this week, y'all. Now, is that an Indian giver? Or is that someone who wants to throw things up in your face, you know, and have receipts on you, you know, stuff like that. It's like, <sighs> me, if I do it, if I do anything, first of all, I'm gonna do it because I wanna do it, first of all. Second, I don't like throwing things in people's face. I don't, because I don't like how that feels when it's done to me. So out of courtesy, I'm not gonna do it to you. But like, that's something else, like, is that an Indian giver? Somebody who give you something, do something, or whatever, and then all of a sudden, well, remember we had? No, I remember, trust me, cause you gonna make sure my ass don't forget. It's just like, it's just thoughts, y'all. Like, me and my husband was just talking this morning over breakfast, and we was just like, have you ever? Have you ever? And if you have, Share your experiences so we can have some conversation about this, okay? And, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all, the way my mind be set up these days, y'all, I tell you, life kind of changes for you when you go over 40, right? It changes, like, it's not about making other people happy anymore. It's about you having happiness within yourself. And that's that's my, that's where I'm at right now. I just want to maintain my happiness. And I'm not letting or allowing anybody to try to even come in and steal a portion of that. So, you know, when I'm at work, y'all, some of y'all was wondering if I liked my job because Y'all was like, um, you just seemed like you wasn't like feeling it like when you first started. It's a lot to take in, y'all. It's a lot. It's a lot to learn. It's like relearning um, the retail industry like all over again because the company I work for, y'all, they're based out of the UK. So everything is being Americanized now. Everything. Like, what's happening in the UK is it's different from what's going on here in the US. So, to say the least, I'm gonna tell y'all, I do. I actually really, really do like my job. I like what I do. I like the impact that I can like physically, tangibly see on a day-to-day -day basis. I see progression, I see change. I see what works and what don't work. I see it. However, I'm also a realist. And there's a lot of people that I work with that they don't like the environment. They don't like the environment because the environment can be stressful. However, I always tell them it's only what you make it. So if you allow this place to stress you out, you'll be stressed out. If you allow to consume this place and like let it get in your head and like you take it home with you, that's exactly what it's gonna do. Me, personally, I leave that shit right at the dough. And I ain't even talking about the dough to the parking lot, y'all. I'm talking about when I pick my purse up 
and I put it on my shoulder and I have them check me when I walk out, I just left it at that though. Okay, I left it in the office, all right? I just don't bring that shit home with me. I just don't. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I think it's maturity over the years, like, it's retail. And it's a different type of retail for me this time. I'm not the store manager, so I don't have to be worried about the entire 40,000 square feet, you know what I'm saying? I just have to worry about the footage that I am over. Overall, when I'm in the building, I care about everybody's department, you know what I'm saying? However, I'm just, I don't know y'all, it's just retail to me. Like, they was stressing yesterday before I left. We just had inventory. We just had a lot go on this week, okay? And I just was like, I was getting ready to leave and one of the managers was talking to me and we was just talking about the day and I was like, breathe. That's what I'm gonna, this is the advice I'm gonna give you right now. Breathe. Cause to me, I said, uh, good luck on making it perfect. Because you know what? I'm sorry, y'all, but I am a firm believer in when a, a people come and they travel to see the stores and stuff like that, they wouldn't be in these positions if it wasn't shit for them to call out. It wasn't shit wrong. You know what I'm saying? The position wouldn't even exist. So they are trying to know what right looks like, but you are not to be expected to think things are gonna be perfect all the time. Especially when you don't have the manpower nor the payroll to make it perfect. So you know what? You breathe and you do what you can do within the time frame that you can and uh, you communicate and you keep it moving. It's nothing to be getting stressed out over. And, uh, I don't, I just, I can't do it. I can't get sucked in no more on that level of bringing my job home with me and it's making me irritated and, you know, angry and sad and stuff like that. I tell y'all, I don't play that shit calling me on my day off, texting me. It did happen the other day. However, it was just for a schedule change that I was okay with. However, uh, don't be calling me, asking me about uh some shirts and some skirts don't be calling me asking me about shit like that y'all because i ain't got no computer at my house to be looking up that shit in no system you know what i'm saying so y'all i'm not gonna bore y'all with the rest of my ride to work so i'm a holler but y'all just think about what i said have you ever had any of these experiences mm -hmm. i knew it was something else i wanted to tell y'all about Yesterday's vlog, remember I was telling y'all about, you know, being a personal shopper, um, helping people, you know, expand their wardrobes, get them fly, get them right, get them tight, get the confidence, you know, right now, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I lied, I lied to y'all, I have done that before, and I did it one time before, and not one time, but several times. But the one time I did it, it kind of like threw me off, like made me like, uh, I ain't wanna do it no more. It's two times. One time it was for somebody my husband knew and they reached out to him to get in touch with me about styling them, all right? It was for a video shoot. Homegirl, oh shit, parking spot. Back that bitch up, I'm gonna take they spot. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Thank you, thank you, come on, come on. So, what happened was, I Skyped with this lady the whole nine, y'all. I spent two hours on the phone. This is when I first started out. And, you know, Skype helped her pick wigs out, you know, told her, throw that shit away. Like, I was being real, real with her. Her style that she was trying to put together, it wasn't going good. And, like, she was trying to do uh, a al like a, a album cover for this new single she was coming out with. <sighs> she was going to get with the record label and she was going to, like, try to permanently hire me as 
her stylist okay child y'all everything i picked out for her looking all like right shop like right out of her own closet all right um child this heifer she ain't do shit okay i saw the album cover and shit appear on facebook and my husband was like really she was like she ain't give you no shout out no nothing okay so he was like nope stuff we ain't doing that no more he was like because she didn't even pay you for your time okay the time two hours on skype with this heifer okay and then the second time i did it y'all i did it and i shopped at my own closet okay and when i shopped at my own closet said person wanted to keep like what i had in my what i had let, her, let them use right because they was fly they was fly as hell and it was like several pieces that they had used and they said they didn't want nobody else wearing their looks so oh my gosh laquisha <sighs> they didn't want nobody using their looks so or wearing their looks so they asked me could they purchase the items okay <sighs> y'all I said okay yeah you can purchase the looks the price that I wanted to charge them for purchasing the looks looks y'all that I had never worn but things that I have in my closet because y'all know I'm a collector of, of style okay um it was like two or three pieces and then it just didn't work out good because they thought I was charging too much and then when I told them how much y'all they was talking about can they be on a payment plan you want me to sell you what was in my closet, but you want to be on a payment plan? Like, you can't give me my monies, like, all up front? I done spent my time and everything. Y'all, that is why it didn't work the first time. And so, I'm, I'm threatening, treading ice on this one, okay? But I'm at work. I just had to come back and share that with y'all before I go in here. Because I was like, I knew it was something else I wanted to tell y'all. And now that I told y'all, I'm going to go on out. See? All it takes is one, maybe two, maybe three people that can just mess it up for everybody. Do you feel me? All right, y'all. What kind of day we going to have at the Prime Mark today? Don't know, but I bet I'm about to find out. Y'all had to get out that stove and come sit my ass down on my break. Because some people is off the chain today. Y'all, I'm sitting in the little massage chair. Chilling like a villain. Mm. Everybody is like freaking sick when I stop, okay? I gotta, I gotta give me some emergency when I get off, okay? Because I ain't trying to get sick. But I feel it. I feel it in my throat. I ain't trying to get sick. I told stuff, don't play, don't play. Tell them all folks, they better use some Lysol and use some bleach wipes. Cause honey, we are not trying to get ill. I'm ready to go. I wish I had some whiskey so I could make me a hottie toddy. Cause I told y'all I ain't claiming this shit. I'm not. Bon, bon. Where you at? Where you at, Holmes? I'm right here. I'm right here, Mama. I'm right here. Yeah, come here. Come here. It's my baby. All right, y'all. I just got home. Like, 11.45. And... I'm about to edit this vlog right quick and then I'm going to bed. It's going to take about 30 minutes. Sorry, it's kind of short and I was just like throwing all these like little coulda shoulda's at y'all. And y'all like, was like, girl, tell it like a T.I. is. And I just couldn't tell it without exposing people, you know. I ain't trying to have nobody mad with me. Mm -hmm. 
know, just when you talk in circles and you talk around, you know, kind of beating, the, beating around the bush when you really don't want to beat around the bush, you know what I'm saying? Anywho, y'all, today, today, let's just say this. I'm type of manager that I have to know that no matter who calls on me, whenever, whoever, and however they may need me, I need to be competent and confident in my knowledge, my skill, my ability to know that I can help this person out, okay? I can be of assistance. And this past Sunday, something happened and I wasn't able to assist. To be honest, none of us was able to assist. However, because I am who I am, I rectified that this week, y'all. So today, when I tell you I was, I was there, there, here, there, to me, you can only make yourself more efficient by pretty much just taking accountability of like your own training and knowledge. And I'm just somebody I don't like to not know. I don't not like not know how to do shit, okay? So today, I felt like I was able to assist when it comes to certain things that people complain about. Um, I was able to be helpful, productive, and had another mothering moment tonight. And I just wanted to hug her, y'all. But you know, you can't hug everybody because you know you don't want it to be seen as inappropriate behavior. You know what I'm saying? However, I was listening to her and I was just giving her tips on, you know, just how to establish that you are a grown woman. And sometimes parents were not able to see that until the child shows us that they are ready to be seen, heard, and treated like a grown adult. Okay? So, yeah, I was, I was a parent super saver chick tonight super cashier just a whole bunch of different positions y'all and i'm gonna shut this thing down and we're gonna wake up in the morning and we're gonna try this again and sunday i should be good i just was a little no i can't even say i was overwhelmed because i wasn't i just i like to be helpful i don't know about y'all but when i work somewhere i just I have to know. I have to know how to do stuff. And knowledge is power. Believe that. Whew. Okay. I pick out my clothes because I gotta be at work at 7. So I see y'all at 5. Yeah, I gotta pick out my clothes because when I lay down, I'm gonna take some medicine because tell y'all I'm a little under the weather. I, I feel it, but I'm not claiming it. You know what I'm saying? Don't claim that shit. Devil, I rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. Amen and hallelujah.